Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sethi Seth, here today, bringing you the post-event recap from the Toronto Home Series. I know it's a couple days late, and I apologize for that. Um, kind of trying to regain over here and look at it with a fair perspective, because obviously when we're pissed off about losing, um, yeah, I'm just going to come out here and say some dumb stuff, but I think I gave it a fair, a fair think, and uh, let's recap the event. So... Uh, first and foremost, though, before I do get into the post-event, let's look forward to the future a little bit. So we have the playoffs of the CDL, which I'm super, super excited for. Uh, they take place the 19th through the 23rd is the first weekend, and I believe the second weekend is the 29th and 30th. Uh, it's a Saturday and Sunday for uh, the top four teams to see who will be the playoff champion. But um, yeah, we have a pretty, pretty interesting bracket there. We're going to play the winner of Subliners and Roker. Uh, and Roker actually yesterday just made a pretty big change. They put Goddard X on the bench and they brought in Exceed, one of their amateur players, off the bench to uh, try to fix some of the problems that they're having over there. So honestly, I don't know who we're going to play in our first uh, winner's round two match. Could be New York, could be Roker. Uh, this game is really just any given day. And I mean, that's always been a thing in Call of Duty. Uh, everyone at the pro level can shoot straight. It's all about decision making and really just team coordination and teamwork uh, when it gets to this level. So we'll see who plays better on that day, and we'll uh, we'll see who we get to match up against in our first round on Friday, the 21st of August. But let's not take too long looking at the future. Let's, uh, let's look at the past event that we were at, which wasn't a good one for us, obviously. Uh, had a couple hiccups there with some technical issues, which we'll get into. But um, overall, just not a great event for us. Um, myself, I feel like I personally had an okay tournament again. My statistics look good, but they're not where I want them to be. I want to be contributing more in Search and Destroy, which I really haven't been the past couple events. Uh, I've, I've been doing okay in it, but not, you know, not good enough to, to, to win us some of these maps. And I feel like if I can step it up in Search and Destroy a little bit, uh, it'll it'll help us a lot. So, you know, I got to do a little bit of intro, introspection and, uh, you know, got to look at myself a little bit. Uh, I had an okay respawn weekend. Uh, I think I had like a 1.1 or something. But again, my, my pressure wasn't there. So I wasn't really that happy with it. Uh, I was playing a little too slow. Uh, it felt a little bit uncomfortable in a lot of the situations that I'm normally comfortable in. Uh, so again, we're just gonna have to go to the drawing board and, and try to, try to fix a couple things. I think it, a lot of it has to do with our pacing on the map as a team. Uh, and we're, we're also on different pages, uh, on, on when we need to be playing hyper aggressive or, or turtling or, and playing tight on a hill. So we just got to fix that up. I mean, we've proven that we can be a very, very strong respawn team and search and destroy team. Uh, we just have to tie it all together in, in two weekends and hopefully bring our all for playoffs. But let's look into the, the matches that we played. Uh, first match was against the Surge. Honestly, I expected a W out of this one. They've been struggling a little bit to close out series. They've had a few close ones with top teams, but at this level, you have to be able to close. You know, you can play, you can win by, it's a, you just got to win by an inch in Call of Duty. You know, you can win 6-5, you can win by one point in hard point. A win's a win, um, and they just haven't been able to pull it together. So we lost uh, we lost first map Gunrunner hard point against these guys, which I was a little bit surprised with. Um, but not really surprised with because they are good at Gunrunner Hardpoint. Uh, they play a lot of good teams close and beating some good teams on it. So I was uh, a little bit surprised there, but not really. Um, but after that, we we came out with a vengeance. 3-0 sweeped them after that first map. I believe we played Gunrunner S&D where I think I... No, that was a different one. Uh, I think it went down to the wire. Uh, I could be wrong on that. We played a lot of Gunrunner S&D, so bear with me if I do forget some of these map uh, specific scores uh but i i think it was i think it was close i could be wrong but we played that map well we played that map pretty decent all weekend uh, next played a little bit of hackney dom uh played that good again i mean we we won the map hackney dom is a 50 50 besides a team like i think one of the only teams with a winning record like a, a dominant winning record on that map is dallas uh everyone else on that map is pretty 50 50 so we we end we ended up coming out beating them on that which i was happy with and then the fourth map to close out the series. I actually forget what map it was. I think it was Petro. Yeah, it was Petro. We started good side Petro, I think, and ended up closing them out by like 30 or 40 points or something like that. Uh, I played pretty good that map. I was happy with it. Ended up clutching up at the end on the bar hill. Um, yeah, 
I mean, I got to pat myself on the back whenever I get the opportunity, you know, you can't always, can't always introspect. Sometimes you got to give yourself some gas. So I was happy with that. Uh, next, moving on to the Toronto series. Super unfortunate series. Uh, there was a hurricane hitting, I believe, Southern Texas, which is where Preston is. Um, and his power went out in the fourth map. We'll talk about that when we get there. But came out in the series hot. We won our first map, Ramaza, against them. We were all very, very happy about that. Uh, next map, this was the map that I clutched up on. It was the Gunrunner S&D round 11 that I got like four kills in the final round or three kills. Uh, it was like a three, three or four V5, and we had bomb down at B. Uh, I got a clutch stick in U, killed one front green, killed another one crossing front green, I think, uh, and then had one one shot crossing front bathroom. So I played played that round really well. I was happy with that. We went up 2-0. I honestly thought we were going to close them. Uh, I thought we were going to 3-0 them, and then we lost again a Hackney, Hackney Dom. Uh, by I think like five points or something. It's just one of those maps, bro. It's it's so hard to be consistently dominant on that map just because of how it plays. I mean, again, the only team with the winning record on it uh, predominantly is Dallas. So, I mean, we just lost by five points. The end of the map came down to the wire. People were hopping flags all over the place. Unfortunate there. Couldn't close it out. Uh, following that map was the lag out map, which was St. Petro. A lot of people were saying that we were going to lose it. We were going to win it. Honestly, looking back at it, uh, it was still, you know, it's it wasn't a for sure loss. It wasn't a for sure win for either team. Uh, he lagged out when it was like 20 to 40. Uh, I know that it says that he disconnects around like 20 to 60 or 70 or something like that. But he lagged out of our team speak and wasn't calming for, you know, a majority of the second hill, which is where they gained their their big lead on us. So it's it's hard to say. I mean, the league, it happened to Seattle, I believe, the weekend before. And the league has to, you have to keep a, a consistent ruling on that. And it's so difficult with online Call of Duty because what's to say, like we obviously have our integrity cams, like mine's back here. I put it on my couch so I can see my whole setup. Uh, and that's to make sure there's no cheating going on. No one's pulling wires, you know, like saying they disconnected and they're just turning off their, their internet. Um, basically just to make sure that we're not, you know, cheating in any, in any aspect. So you know, it's it's a hard ruling to do. Uh, it sucks in our favor. You know, obviously we were confident on that map and they got a free win on it, basically. Uh, and then also just for momentum purposes, I mean, that is just a complete downer. And, you know, I'm not making excuses by any means because we still had that map five that we could have won. But Call of Duty also is a game of, of sheer momentum swings. Like you can be doing great in a series and then boom, like one little thing happens drop of a pin and momentum fully switches and the people make comebacks all the time. You know, it's very momentum based esport. Uh, and that, that was a, that was a vacuum, a vibe vacuum just came in and just sucked all of them out. Um, and then that map five, I mean, I think we lost six, three or six, four. They played Piccadilly. Well, they're a good Piccadilly team as well. They're comfortable on it. Um, but yeah, just ended up falling short in the game five and got to tip the hat to Toronto in that aspect. But again, that map four, it sucks. Sucks bad, but what are you going to do? And then following that match was our elimination match against OGLA. Uh, again, came out strong in the cave hard point. I've been running an AR on that map, and we've been looking really, really good on it. Went up 1-0 in the series. We actually almost choked that map, but we ended up closing it out. Uh, next was the Ramaza search. Again, it's really just been Ramaza, man. I, I, something about it, I can't figure it out right now. I just, I went like four and nine or four and seven or something on it, and it went to a round 11. Um, there's just something about, I can't, I, you know, I just, it's one of those maps where either everything is going your way or nothing's going your way, it feels like, especially with the role that I play on it. So, just didn't feel like anything was going my way that map. I was getting some bad timings. I lost a couple gunfights. I got some people one shot and they got away. Uh, sometimes it just happens, but we lost around 11 there. Uh, then following was another hackney dom. We got to fix that map, man. Like, it's just simple as that. Uh, we've been struggling on gun runner recently. So hackney dom has been like our, we've played a, 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 probably 80, 90% of our series the past couple months. Uh, we've played Petra a few times, which I think that we are good at, but we just always ban gun runner, which we're trying to really fix up here before champ so that we don't just play that map over and over and we're giving teams a different look, you know, on some of the different maps. So yeah, I mean, lost that Hackney Dom. Uh, I think that one was pretty close as well. Just couldn't close it out. And then finally, this was the worst map that we played of the weekend. 
uh, our coalition Hackney side. I don't know what's been up with it. In tournaments, we're, we're usually really good at it in scrims, but in tournaments, we just can't seem to pull the pieces together. Uh, we ended up losing a coalition Hackney, which uh, if you guys know, competitive Call of Duty is a, it's a good side, and it's a very good side. And if you get that side, you should be winning a majority of your games. Uh, and we're just not. So we got to fix that up. We have a lot of work to do. Uh, I have a lot of work to do. I think everyone on the team realizes that, you know, this is time to buckle down. Uh, we were really shooting for that top two seed this weekend. Uh, we didn't get it, and it's not the end of the world. These tournaments, obviously, they have a good prize pool, and you want to win that that nice purse. But at the end of the day, the uh, the big one is going to come down to playoffs, and that's what everyone's looking forward to. Um, just got to get on the grind. Just got to get better. Got to get better as a team. And we're, we're going to try to make sure that we're, we're doing everything in our power to be able to do that. You know, we, we're, we have some three days coming up. We're having some ra our best of 11s with pro teams. So we're going to be playing hardpoint Dom S and D like an actual series. Uh, so we're going to be on the grind and uh, I've said it to my stream, my streaming and content schedule might get a little bit crazy. Um, if I miss some uploads to YouTube, please don't be upset with me. Uh, it's just, it's crunch time for competitive for the end of the year. Obviously everyone wants to win it. So, uh, I'm going to be practicing a lot more and just, uh, putting my all into this final event so that we can hopefully come out and win that, win that big old, I think it's 300,000 a person. So that wouldn't be a bad couple weekends of uh, call of duty. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just gotta get better. It all comes down to so Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and as always, boys, this is your boy, Set. Leave a like if you enjoyed it.